Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. Last time out was pretty successful. It seems like we only need to do the part of the prophecy that involves getting these feet to move now. And I think I've probably got a bit of an idea of how to do that. I would imagine it's to do with this. Um, potentially playing music through the portal up on the, the surface for the, the heads. Uh, but I've also been told by people that it's quite funny if you uh, use the Fountain of Youth to turn Sam and Max into children again and then try talking to the, the heads and you know various other people and things like that. I think the heads in particular are the ones uh, that were mentioned to me. So we'll start off with that. We'll, we'll move the portal to, I guess, here while, we, while we're here. May as well. Uh, and then we'll do the, the, uh, the Fountain of Youth thing. So yeah, I believe now if we play the music through it should come through from down below uh, but we shall see so fountain of youth time let's turn back into children once again as i said when we did this i think it was the last one i've been ill so it's been a while since i recorded this game actually uh, but yeah this baby sam and max are pretty cute aren't they also daredevil pointed out could we have just collected the water gone into stinky's diner and drunk the water in there to bypass the whole doing the red gong thing and honestly i don't know if any of you guys who have played the game before know that let us know down in the comments below because I'm, I'm now i'm thinking about it maybe we could have done that and we just overcomplicated it with the whole red gong i, I don't know uh, but i'm gonna stop waffling and i'm gonna drink this fountain of youth water where do we get the other cup from as well <laughs> Just noticed that we both have a have a oh whoa ee. the game didn't seem to like us being kids there uh, right let's talk to these heads. Max said the volcanoes were cool and you were stupid for wanting to stop. <laughs> and when I told him to shut up, he pulled out a gun and shot at me. Nah, -uh, Sam started it. Look, I'm not good at this. <laughs> Can I just give you some money or something to make you go away? Uh, yeah, sure. So they just act like children. My best friend Max has something very important to say to you. <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he likes it as well, look. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, that's really I'm glad we did that. That's funny. Um, can we talk to Abe as well in this in this form? I'm hoping it doesn't run out before we You're get scary it. scary looking. Did you know you got a big mole on your face? <laughs> Are you wrinkly because you're old or because you worry about a lot of stuff? <laughs> Did you mean not to grow a mustache or was it a shaving accident? You do realize I could crush you both, right? Ah, oh, that's not how you talk to kids. This is exactly the type of things that, that my daughter says to me. So, you know, not all of them, but that, that type of thing. They've really nailed the sort of things kids would say there. You know, apart from the boobies bit, I guess, but, you know. Um, right. Stone feet. Let's see if we can do this um, conch thing now. <laughs> that was really funny. I'm glad we did that. Thanks for letting me know about that one, guys. Uh, right. Let's see if we can play the conch through the triangle. All right. Well, that one's moving. So the question is, how do we get them all to move at the same time? It's the entrance to the lava machine. Only used by a high priest. Yeah, so we need to get Max to be the high priest before we can use this thing. So the music through the portal makes this one move. How are we going to make the other ones move at the same time as, as that one? I'm, I'm guessing we have to make them all move at once, right? Uh, the feet shall now anoint Max. We want to get Max anointed up. Okay, we humor you. Oh... Mighty feet, give us a sign. Do you recognize this white stranger as your servant? Uh, okay, let's let's do this then. So, do we have to get all of the feet to move, or is it just one of them? Praise to the true high priest. I mean, that one moves, but look, feet move. He must be high priest. Oh. Uh-huh, that's right. Bring the love. Good to see you too, mighty feet. Sign is clear. Mighty feet anoint you as high priest. Give blessing. Oh, so we only need to move the one. Prophecies are fulfilled. Defeat have spoken. 
true high priest has returned. People of the feet, all shall love me and despair. Oh no. No time for that now, little buddy. High priest, take rightful place on altar. Yay. Oh god. We've got to get up there and stop that volcano. Alright. We still get to kill them now, yeah? <laughs> Now we deal with imposter. Oh no, the fish. Phony so called high priest, what have you to say for yourself? We have two kids, Mr. Spatula. I thought we were pals. He said pals? <laughs> then he spit the rice of Oh no. We've been betrayed, I think. Now he said, me welcome again. Better than suffer tyranny of imprisonment on stale feet legs. I knew I should have taken it for more walks. I blame myself. I blame you too. Hmm, okay. No, he said. You think you won, Simon Max. You really just step in trap. Yes, it I is. I send triangle to summon you here. And you stupid primitives to waste your time. We're not primitive. We have cell phones. They <laughs> say. Now you're too late to stop Volcano! Fascist oppressor Sam and Max get herbal tea and foot rubs once and for all! That doesn't sound so No, bad. that sounds quite nice! Did go any <laughs> now he's saying, that not what I said at all! Me confused, not herbal tea and foot rubs, rain of fire and drowning mud. Ah. I always speak those should have taken the express part. <laughs> now he's saying, come Sam and Max, come to your doom! In my spectral form, I am invincible. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. <laughs> this is a really dragged out dramatic ride, isn't it? Hey! What? Now he say, my medallion, no, cannot. Be what world? What world? Take him to the sacrificial toilet bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, here comes the lava. No time, Max. You're too late to stop the volcano. What do we do? Can we just turn it off with that switch right there? I mean, there's an on-off switch. It's too late. The volcano's already going to erupt. Okay. Uh, there's an emergency button. It says, in case of emergency. Yeah, this Press is an emergency. It, Press it. I suppose now's as good a time as any. It feels like an emergency. Uh, oh god, what, what what does that do? I wonder what that did. What? Nothing more we can do <laughs> here, Max. Let's go up top and check out the situation. What? <laughs> do we have to go back down in the thing again? <laughs> Please tell me it goes quicker on the way down. Hey, look, I had the parking brake on that whole time. Oh, okay. <laughs> the parking brake was on. All right, there's that gold medallion thing down there that I've just seen. Uh, the one that, yeah, High Priest's Medallion. Let's get it's that. It's the official signet of the Ocean Chimps High Priest. Don't I get to wear it? We don't have a chain long enough to fit around your enormous head, John. Okay, so I've been told to remember about the colours and the shapes. So... That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's an octagon, right? So we had to use the red octagon at the beginning to get the Bermuda Triangle to stop. So I wonder if we're going to have to do that. Actually, while we're here, let me just try that out. Because I wonder if we can paint this red here. If so, I'm guessing we're going to... Right, yeah, we're going to have to stop the Bermuda Triangle from doing something then. So, maybe the Bermuda Triangle comes here or something? It really bugs me that we can't run in this game. <laughs> anyway, out we go. So yeah, it's quite convenient. It was only one set of feet, because I had no idea how I was going to get the other feet to move. Um, Nobody knows Euclid doing the Eucharist on a nitro-burning catamaran. That's the second biggest Bermuda Triangle I've ever seen. Seems to be spinning out of control, too. Right, so it's a different one. Oh god, that one's going now. Oh! There goes our only way home. I fail to see how this is helpful in an emergency. This is it. The volcano is about to explode. Okay, so the... Oh. Okay. 
A tree. Alright, well, um... I mean... I'm guessing we do something with the triangle. Uh, there is that gong there, so I wonder if we've got to do something with that at some point. Can we... Alright, okay, so... Uh, let's see if we can... Bring... The gong over there, because we haven't used that one yet, so I'm guessing that's going to be something. If we bring the gong here, we should be able to reach through it, right? So let's see if we can... Let's just see if we can reach through to the other side. Check this out, Max. Does that go near the triangle? Not really. Let's see if we can use our new medallion through the triangle. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. Right. Hope there's nobody on the other side of that triangle. I don't care. Uh, you said it, dude, bro. You've done it. You've broken the prophecy. You've saved our ancient civilization from destruction. Of course we have. <laughs> so sweet thing. Now that's over with. What say you and I find somewhere private to get sedimentary? Yeah, I think we should spend some time apart. <laughs> Your loss. Can I get a ride with you guys? No. Our portal back home is gone. They're gonna have to swim! Oh, God. You float, Mr. Lincoln? Only one way to find us. I get to ride on his dewlap! <laughs> you can only call that once we get in the water. I guess we just sit here for another few thousand years. That sucks. <laughs> Oh, that was really good. That was a cool puzzle at the end as well. Though it wasn't too difficult, was it? Once we, we I think because we had the shapes thing in mind as well from the last part with the red gong, it made it sort of obvious what we were going to have to do there. But maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. Um, that was cool though. I liked that we had to basically put the, the volcano into the Bermuda Triangle. God knows what was on the other side. Apologies to whoever was there because they got melted, I'm guessing. But yeah, really good. Um, I'm excited to see where this goes next because there's no sort of clue there. So who knows what's going to happen. It's going to be mad, isn't it? But that was a really good second episode. I'm looking forward to whatever comes next. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcadies Games, Wayne, Nate, Termini Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous and Kumadin. And I'll see you next time. Oh no, where are they going? Well, that was the first time we've had any sort of a preview or post cutscene thing. That's interesting.